Number one. In this question, you will be asked to talk about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak. Talk about a special opportunity that was given to you. Explain why the opportunity was important. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number two. In this question, you will be asked to give your opinion about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak. State whether you agree or disagree with the following statement. Then explain your reasons using specific details in your explanation. Students should not be allowed to bring cell phones or mobile phones into the classroom. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number three. In this question, you will read a short passage about a campus situation and then listen to a talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question using information from both the reading passage and the talk. After the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. The university library has decided to make a change. Read the university's announcement about the upcoming change. You will have 50 seconds to read the announcement. Begin reading now. Now listen to two students discussing the announcement. They're making a mistake. 
What do you mean? Look, they're trying to do away with distractions so we can study better. But with this change, we won't have anywhere in the library to get together to work on group projects. True. Group project work is common these days. So instead of buying these new units, they should use the money to build meeting rooms, and that would reduce any noise in the main library areas. Yeah, that's what we could really use. There's just not as much need to work in isolation. Exactly. And the other thing is, what's this about overcrowding? Well, sure, we have more students enrolled at the university this year, but do we really have a problem with overcrowding? I don't think so. I always get a whole table to myself. Right. I see empty tables there all the time. It'll just be a waste of money to replace what we have, since what we have now is sufficient for the amount of students that use the library. The man expresses his opinion about the upcoming change. State his opinion and explain the reasons he gives for holding that opinion. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number four. In this question, you will read a short passage on an academic subject, and then listen to a talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question using information from both the reading passage and the talk. After the question, you will have thirty seconds to prepare your response and sixty seconds to speak. Now read the passage about a topic in zoology. You will have fifty seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to part of a lecture on this topic in a zoology class. Let's start with an example you may be familiar with. What's one thing dogs typically do when they feel threatened? When they want to protect themselves? That's right. They show their teeth. And when we see this, we know this behavior means basically stay away. Now, here's how this behavior became a recognizable warning. A long, long time ago. A dog sensing danger would get ready to bite whatever animal was threatening it. It started by baring its teeth, but the purpose of doing this was something very simple. The dog instinctively was making sure it wouldn't bite its own lips when it bit the other animal. Okay, but what happened? Other dogs, other animals, over time, they learned that this teeth baring always came before a dog was going to bite, and so they started to read it as a signal to be careful. 
to keep away or risk getting bitten. This scenario, repeated time after time, also led to the dog's awareness that by simply showing its teeth, a lot of the time that was protection enough. What had been a simple physical preparation to bite had developed into a kind of defense mechanism in and of itself. The dog learned it did not need to actually attack, but could get the right result from just communicating the possibility of an attack through showing its teeth. It started to use this behavior as a warning signal. Explain the concept of ritualization using the example of dogs discussed by the professor. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number 5. In this question, you will listen to a conversation. You will then be asked to talk about the information in the conversation and to give your opinion about the ideas presented. After you hear the question, you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Listen to a conversation between two students. Hey, Sally. I just got the first draft of my research paper back from Professor Stone. Just now? I got mine back a few days ago. Yeah. Everyone else in the class that I know of got theirs a few days ago, too. But the deadline. You're running out of time. Yeah. I'm worried. I only have one day to review all his comments and write my final draft. He made a lot of suggestions. You should definitely ask Professor Stone for a deadline extension. He should take some responsibility for the situation. It is sort of his fault. You won't have much time to work on it before the due date. I've thought about that, but would he think I was being pushy or criticizing him for not getting the paper back to me right away? I don't want to offend him. True, but it's your grade we're talking about. You've got a legitimate concern, but it's understandable if you're uncomfortable asking. Yeah, I'm in a tough spot. You know... You could always just do your best with the time you have left. You're a good student. I bet you can finish it quickly, work really fast, and it'll still turn out good. Do my best with the time I have left. Well, if I worked really hard, I imagine I might do okay, but I'd have to be sure to deal with all his comments. I need a good grade. The speakers discuss two possible solutions to the man's problem. Briefly summarize the problem, then state which solution you recommend and explain why. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep.
Number 6. In this question, you will listen to a short lecture. You will then be asked to summarize important information from the lecture. After you hear the question, you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Listen to part of a talk in a sociology class. Now let's talk about a particular cultural process, diffusion. Since the beginning of human history, diverse cultures have taken advantage of one another's innovations when they've come into contact. Diffusion is the process whereby something cultural, uh, like a custom, a type of food, or an invention, is spread from one group to another, or from one society to another. One group adopts a cultural item, or uh, more selectively, just part of a cultural item, of another group, you see? Now, diffusion can occur through a variety of ways, military conquest, or tourism, or well, even something like the influence of satellite TV shows around the world. For example, take something like reading a modern newspaper here in the U.S. Have you ever thought about where the letters, the characters on the page you're reading, where they came from? They were borrowed from another culture many centuries ago. Then, the printing of the words. Well, that process was invented in Germany. And finally, the paper itself. Paper was invented in China. These innovations from all over the world were shared across cultures over time, and so today we have newspapers in the U.S. So the process of diffusion might take place over long distances and over long periods of time. Now, I'm not saying that diffusion happens easily. As I mentioned, sometimes it's selective. For instance, um, many people in the U.S. have accepted the practice of acupuncture, the Chinese practice of using needles to cure disease or relieve pain. So lots of people in the U.S. have realized that acupuncture is effective, but few of them fully understand or have committed themselves to the philosophy behind acupuncture. Cultures tend to resist ideas which seem too foreign, too different from their own beliefs and values. But the ideas which aren't perceived as too different are often incorporated, absorbed, diffused into their culture. So the practice of acupuncture has been absorbed into U.S. culture, but not the philosophies of Chinese medicine. Using points and examples from the talk, Explain the concept of diffusion. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep.